evening, the Conservatives chalked up their first by-election victory for more than eight years early today when they held Uxbridge in West London. The Conservative leader, William Hague, called it a turning point in his party's fortunes. The local Labour Party blamed its national leadership for imposing a new candidate on the constituency. The Conservative majority went up from 700 to over 3,000. This was the result. John Randall, Conservative, 16,288. Andrew Slaughter, Labour, 12,522, with the Liberal Democrat Keith Kerr a long way behind in third place. Our political, my, our political editor Michael Brunson reports from Uxbridge. Morning. The smile on William Hague's face as he came to Uxbridge to congratulate the by-election victor John Randall in person said it all, that any Tory victory has been a long time in coming. The choice of the Turning Point pub as the location for all this was deliberate because, as the Tory leader pointed out, the last Tory by-election winner was himself over eight years ago. And I'm delighted this morning to pass that mantle on to John Randall. I'm absolutely delighted. Not that Mr Randall himself seemed all that delighted last night. And I declare that Alexander John Randall is duly elected Member of Parliament for the Uxbridge constituency. Mr. Randall is a quiet, unassuming sort of chap who was back among the carpets this afternoon in the family department store in Uxbridge and who stressed his local roots heavily during the campaign. By contrast, Labour used their special procedures for selecting by-election candidates to pick an outsider, Andy Slaughter, and to dump the man who only just lost for Labour last time. It did nothing to avert defeat for Mr. Slaughter this time. But Mr. Haig says that it was evidence of Labour's arrogant way of doing things. I think there has been a bit of arrogance. There's been quite a bit from the government in the way they've treated Parliament over the last few weeks, but also in the way they tried to treat this constituency. Of course, one swallow doesn't make a summer, does it? One win here, 180, 200 majority, <laughs> long way to go. No, we've, of course, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a huge task ahead of us. I'm not trying to play that down in any way. But what we do now know is that we've made a very good start. But however bitter the morning newspaper headlines, Labour are saying that they will not change their candidate selection procedure, nor, they say, will this defeat keep Tony Blair, who broke with tradition to campaign here, away from future by-elections. And the Deputy Prime Minister, John Prescott, says that Labour's share of the vote held up well in what used to be a safe Tory seat. We didn't win, and we're sad about that, but it means a Tory seat a stayed a Tory seat hasn't affected our majority or the support of the people in the country. What seems to have happened here is that the protest vote against the Conservatives during the general election and which went to the referendum party or to the Liberal Democrats has now come back to the Tories. So Labour have learnt the hard way that it's very difficult for governments to pick up seats from the opposition by by-elections. For the Tories though, it's provided